fine, that's fine. Come on in. <laughs> All right. Sean Clement here with uh, my faithful senior instructor, Alan Panuncio. We're here to show you, give you an, a really neat uh, training session with the medicine ball that's really going to help the flow in your golf swing. And it's going to help you with a lot of different positions in the golf swing as well. So we're going to start off with the takeaway and the backswing, all right? So Alan, you're going to position yourself a little further away, right about there. I'm going to get into my posture, letting the arms hang below the shoulders, right? So you notice how my, my arms are hanging below my shoulders. I'm not reaching out over here. I'm just forward enough so that the arms are hanging comfortably in front of my legs, right? So if I wasn't forward enough, I'd have to hold it out. So right there is what we want. Now we're going to use some momentum, so I'm going to rock it forward, then back with the turn of my body, all right, you ready? Yeah. And I'm going to toss it back to Alan. Now after I finish tossing, I'm going to hold my position. So you want to see at this point here, both hands should be equidistant, same distance away from your body. If I had used my arms only, it would have looked like this. So notice my body didn't move. See how this arm is collapsed against me and that arm is away from me. That will tell you right, that you haven't turned enough. So if you turn completely, both arms will be the same distance away from your body. Your tush will be toward the target. And while you're doing this, make sure you keep your eyes on something. Right now I'm keeping my eyes on this rubber tee in front of me. And I can see how my left shoulder is turning under my chin as I'm going towards Alan. And you notice how my left hand stays under, my right hand stays over. So this is the initial part of my backswing. All right, with the club, it'll look like that. You'll see the club face looks shut. Then as the right arm folds and the wrist hinge, that's what's going to put, set the club face on plane. So don't worry about that for now. Let's try that one more time, Alan. Yep. <clears throat> Using the momentum to toss towards Alan, keeping my eyes on that rubber tee. Right? So now we take this. If I was not to let go of this ball, this is a 10 pound medicine ball, by the way. So if I didn't let go of that ball towards Alan, my arms would continue to ride up. Then I would let them fall. They would continue through past me. And now Alan's going to set himself up right here on the other side of me. So Alan would represent my target. And what I'm doing is I'm tossing everything back then letting it fall back and releasing toward the target. So you notice at this point here, same again. Arms are equidistant away from my body. My eyes would still be on that T right there. And you notice how my hips, the belt buckle, everything cleared for that ball to go toward Allen. Same again here. You'll feel like you need to push with your right hand and support it here with the right hand and manipulate it if your body didn't get out of the way. All right, let's try it again. All right. Toss. Okay. So now if you have a partner like Alan, so let's say we're both working on our follow throughs. So Alan would be facing back here towards me and I'm just trying to toss this to the front of Alan's body. Toss. Alan would reset, make sure he's hanging. Good. Toss. Fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful clearing toward the target. The last thing I want you to realize is when you're releasing that ball, Toss. This is really going to help you feel the brace in that left side. You'll feel, because you've got to support that 10 pound weight, you'll really feel braced in that left side as you're releasing that ball. And also you'll notice as we're tossing it back and forth, do you see how fluid that was? There was no interruptions in that swing. So you notice I cannot manhandle, pardon the expression, I can't manhandle this medicine ball the same way I could manhandle a, a, a few ounces in a golf club. I got 10 pounds, so I gotta wait for that 10 pounds. Otherwise it would feel very, it would require a lot of effort. One more. Toss, fall. Fantastic. So now we take the golf club if I were to do the same thing with a golf club, all right, and you might want to get out of the way now, Alan, right? <laughs> now it's just toss, fall, all right? Go to the ball, 
My eyes are on the ball, but the focus, I'm, I'm using the same momentum, I'm feeling the same rhythm as I did with that medicine ball, and I'm releasing the medicine ball toward the target. So me letting go of the medicine ball here represents me letting go of the momentum of my swing, the energy of my swing is going out there toward that target. So it's toss, release to the target. And there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know. All right.